All right, in this video, we are going to tie the mosquito. Let's do it. All right, everyone, today we are going to tie a nice dry fly pattern. Uh, we're going to do the mosquito. This is going to be in a size 14. Uh, go ahead and follow along. A super simple fly and a very effective fly as well. Uh, caught lots of fish on this pattern. So, like I mentioned before, it's going to be a size 14 on this one. I've tied them in size 16 and I've tied them in size 12. So, between 12 and 16, even probably smaller, uh, you can get away with uh, 18 or, or 20. Or if you go any smaller than that, I'd like to see it. But um, 14 is a good size to start. So, let's go and get started. I'm using black thread. Just use a small diameter black thread. I think this is a three aught, so I could go a little smaller, but it's all right. Work your way down, get your thread secured on the hook, and go about to the point. So, first, you're going to tie in material. You're going to tie in is a tail, and I'm using some grizzly hackle fibers. You want the tail to be just a little bit shorter than a hook length. So go ahead and measure that out. There's a hook length. So I'm gonna transfer those over just about there. Normally you don't do this, but I'm gonna go ahead and trim that off just because it's really uneven. Trim it off even like that. And secure that on your hook. And then you can advance that thread all the way down to the curve. Like so. Like so. And then work that way. Work it back up and cover the remaining material. So there's that. Next part is going to be normally, if you were to see any other videos or the majority of other videos, uh, the next part would be putting the wings on here. Well, I don't put wings on mine. I have found that they fish just as well, if not better, without wings. And the fish don't really care what the fly looks like as much as the fishermen care what the fly looks like. So I don't tie mine with wings. Another reason is I don't have a lot of real small grizzly hackle that you would normally use for your wings. So, I don't tie that on there uh, for those reasons. So, skipping that step, if you'd like to see it, there are other videos out there that you can go find. But uh, skipping that step, the next section is gonna be the body. Uh, for that, I'm using Moose Mane. You're gonna wanna get you a light strand, a white strand, and then a dark strand. So I'll get you a lighter one. And a darker one. you have that go ahead and align the butt ends of the hairs and then snip off the tips to make them even the moose mane is very fragile so you got to be really careful when working with it because if it breaks then you got to start over so go ahead and advance that thread back to about the one-third point and secure your moose mane to the, to the hook. I work mine on the side of the hook. Some guys work it on the top of the hook. It's all personal preference. Work it to the tail and then work it back. 
leaving as clean of a body as possible. So, next step, you're going to wrap the body, keep the two hairs parallel, and don't overwrap it. Reason being, you want to do touching wraps, and it'll cause the segmented body, the black and the white. My hair doesn't want to cooperate. there you can capture that and tie it in turn off the tag ends now one thing that I do that a lot of guys don't Now take UV resin. Excuse me. This is the flow, the Loon Outdoors UV Clear Fly Finish Flow, and I will put it a little bit over the moose mane. Kind of helps it pop a little bit. Also adds a little more security to the fly. Let that soak in just a hair. Hit it with my torch. Next step is going to be your hackle. Uh, go ahead and select your grizzly hackle. This one might be a little big, but it'll work. Actually, let's start right there. A couple of wraps to secure it on there. Snip off your tag end. pliers and start wrapping your hackle touching wraps forward towards the eye uh, and if you Lose it like I just did, it happens. Just let it unwrap itself and start over. Alright, try again. Oh my gosh. All right, let's try these hackle pliers. Those ones just aren't wanting to stick. Okay. Let me capture that in there. And then I like to do a couple in front. Oh. Break off. <laughs> this is the part where I say, yeah, just break it off or cut off the butt end. <laughs> 
not my prettiest mosquito, but it, it will fish. Go ahead and grab your whip finish tool. I like to do just a couple three turn. It doesn't need a huge head on there because I'm going to add more UV resin. Or you could also use a varnish, any kind of varnish head cement. I'll grab these couple fibers that didn't cooperate with me. I'll just pluck them out of there. One more. I don't remember where I learned how to do this. Uh, but before I was just cutting them off. And you could never get them all the way with scissors. Um, most of the time, with hackle pliers, you can get them all. So, that'll work. Then go ahead and grab the. UV resin again. And just a little bit to thread wraps. And blast them with the UV torch. Ciao. And that's a mosquito. Mosquito in a size 14. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a challenging fly when you got really fat fingers, but it's a really awesome fly and fish really go crazy. Uh, bluegill, trout, I've even caught bass on a mosquito. And it really looks like their food. So, again, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'm glad you guys uh, are checking in with me and uh, watching my videos. I definitely appreciate it. And uh, I uh, am down for suggestions please let me know what you guys want to see me tie and uh, i'll go ahead and do that for you so until next time you guys take it easy and i will catch you on the next one